Well, pulling extra rain or snow out of the clouds could help the Southwest battle relentless drought. Some Rocky Mountain states have been doing so for decades and are ramping up. But the big question is, what about Arizona? Nine on your side's Ryan Fish also spoke with the Central Arizona Project about cloud seeding. It's not happening yet in Arizona, but cloud seeding is already making an impact here. The process involves finding clouds under the right weather conditions, then launching silver iodide particles into those clouds from the ground or a plane. So is it more creating new rain or is it getting more out of rain or clouds that are already becoming a storm? The best way to think about it is improving the efficiency of the cloud. So the cloud has so much moisture that is within the cloud. Um, and what the silver iodide can do is make those particles a little bit heavier so then they fall out of the cloud. The Central Arizona Project helps fund cloud seeding programs in the upper Colorado River Basin in Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah. A CAP study found the practice to be effective there adding to the water that eventually flows into Arizona. We felt pretty comfortable that there was about a 5 to 10 percent increase in precipitation stemming from that study. CAP partners with other lower basin agencies in Nevada and California to send up to $1.5 million each year to seeding in the upper basin. The AP reports even more investment there, including a new $2.4 million federal grant and more than $14 million in next year's Utah state budget. This is a way that we can increase the snowpack, even if it's incremental then it's something that we need to, to look at and consider. But would it work in Arizona? The Salt River Project has been researching the feasibility of winter cloud seeding in the White Mountains. What we've learned about that area using um, observed weather station data and high tech, um, the latest and greatest uh, weather modeling, the cloud seeding potential is on the same order as most of the other western states. But Walter says there still needs to be more measurements and community discussion before a trial program can get off the ground. And even then, experts say cloud seeding is not planting a miracle cure for drought. It's one tool in the toolbox, some way that we can hopefully augment some snowpack in some years given the correct conditions. Um, we don't want to take away from the message that those other tools in the toolbox also need to be utilized. Ryan Fish, KGA 9 on your side.